Welcome back to JB Reviews. I did a video saying why you should not buy a dually. And at the time I didn't own one. I just got my points based off of people who actually owned these trucks in the past. Now that I've owned one, I'm gonna give you guys my perspective on, well, duallys. I am here at Jerry Signer Buick GMC in South Jordan, Utah. This downpour metallic dually is available, it's a Denali. If you would like to buy it, be sure to reach out to Frank. I'll put his information here down below. And let's go ahead and talk about my first point. I did a video probably about three years ago on why you shouldn't buy a dually. You guys probably will remember it. I wanna say a lot of people actually found my channel based off of that video. So I made a lot of points. The first point I'm gonna discuss in this video is insurance. Now I had mentioned in that video that insurance is, is gonna be more expensive for a dually. Now I obviously debunked that because I own the dually and guess what? The dually was actually cheaper than both of my single rear wheel trucks. Now obviously the MSRP was cheaper and that's kind of why it was a little bit cheaper too. But based off of what people told me and what I read online, duallys have a higher premium because of the gross fuel weight rating. Well. That's just not true. So one thing you have to understand is this. Every state is different and some states may classify these bigger trucks differently for a premium. And that's just not the case here in Utah and for my insurance, which is State Farm. Now, something else that I had mentioned in that video was that your registration fees are more money. And again, here in Utah, that was not the case. In Maryland, it was the same situation. If you were to get a dually or if you were to get a single rear wheel truck, 14,000 pound gross fuel weight rating, 12,000 pound gross fuel weight rating, 10,000 pound gross fuel weight rating, it was all the same. It did not matter with the classification of this truck. Now, if you were to go above 14,000 pound to a 45 or 5,500, that could change things a little bit. And maybe I'll do a follow-up video on insurance for a 450, 350, four truck, since they do have a detuned version of that pickup truck. And maybe I can put it up against a 450 cabin chassis versus a 450 uh, detuned GVWR. Let's go ahead and get to the next point. You guys ready for this? One thing that I learned about owning a dually is this. If you ever need to take your truck out, guess what? Parking is a beast. So I'm here at a restaurant. I decided to take my wife and this is the only truck that was available for us to get in and drive. If you wanna park these big trucks, you can't just pull in to a parking space like this. Like this, this isn't gonna happen. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So. I just hit the curb. That's the curb right there. Okay, that's the curb. Let's go ahead and check out the camera view here. So here's the 360. You guys see how I'm pulled into the parking space? I'm actually not that bad. Now obviously I can back out, straighten up, but the truth to the matter is if you are looking to buy this type of truck, you have to back in, not because of how long it is, but because of the duels. It's a lot easier to back this thing in when you're basically backing up. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm not looking at my camera, I'm looking at the mirrors. So on this side, I'm in the line. On this side, I'm in the line, right? So the reason why you wanna back in a dually is because if you don't back it in, well, someone could probably back out of their parking space and scrape the side of your dual bed. So you wanna make sure those are in that way. That way you don't have any damage. That's what I learned from having one. The next point I'm gonna make was actually from the comment section. I didn't even think about this. If you're someone who likes to run your car through a car wash, well, unfortunately with these duallys, and really not just the duals, but how long these trucks are, you may not be able to get in that car wash. Now, it does show just a clearance. It doesn't seem like there's any restrictions for a dually for this car wash, but make no mistake there's a lot of car washes that you cannot go in and also if you plan on going to like the bank like there's a bank across the street there that bank if you like to go through the window it's like so you don't want to go inside there might be some issues for you to get in at that bank so you might have to skip that also fast food restaurants if you go to mcdonald's or something like that you don't want to get out of the car sometimes i will just go out and grab something and i look like a hot mess, like I'm in my pajamas still, and I really don't want to get out of the car. And in those cases, right, 
the dually is the worst option because you may not be able to get through the drive through as easy as you could with a single rear wheel truck. This next point I'm gonna make, I still get this question on my channel. Do you think you can live with the dually long term unloaded? I think that Chevy and GMC trucks are the most comfortable dualies on the market. So if you're looking at these trucks, I can answer that safely for most people. Yes, you can definitely live with this truck. If you're looking at Ram, <laughs> Ram trucks are really stiff. They are really built for towing. Like I'm about to go over a bump real quickly. I want you guys to see me right now. Here we go. So again, I feel as though GM pickups in dually form are the most comfortable without weight on them. Now, if I go over a speed bump or if I hit something in the road, it's still a dually because those duels are obviously going to be more stiffer back there and suspension is set up to be more stiffer. So when there's no load back there, they are a lot harder to live with day to day. So when it comes down to a lot of different things, like using these trucks day to day is not as easy. I think I would probably still prefer to have a second vehicle if I still owned a dually because these trucks are not as comfortable as single rear wheel trucks. There's just no comparison. If you were to drive this and then go drive a single rear wheel, you'll notice instantly on bumps, especially at low speeds, they're just a lot stiffer. Now let's talk about the numbers on the door. So the reason why you buy a dually is because you want payload, obviously. 14,000 pounds is the gross fuel equate rating. Every dually, whether it be Ford, Ram, Chevy, GMC, every dually is gonna have a 14,000 pound gross fuel equate rating. Now I have seen in the past where some manufacturers like Ford will allow you to detune a dually down to like 13,000 pounds. And because at the end of the day, if you're looking to tow a fifth wheel trailer, or any kind of recreational trailer, you don't have to worry about the gross combined weight rating limit because you can still tow a fifth wheel trailer 20,000 pound plus the 14,000 pound. That'll obviously put you over 26,000 pounds, right? I think it's 26,001 pounds. That will not require you to get a CDL license. Now, if you're looking to tow a tag trailer, um, any enclosed trailer, and that puts you over 26,001 pounds, then you are going to be required to get a CDL license. So that's the negative about owning these trucks. Yes, they do have a huge towing capacity, big payload, but it will restrict you for what you can tow with your regular class A driver's license. That's why a lot of guys will detune their trailers down to 9,900 pounds, which is why I did that with my race trailer. Cause I could have gone up to 10.4 or I could even go up to 14,000 pounds, but I didn't want to restrict myself if I ever decided to get a dually or even a uh, single rear wheel truck and it puts me over that 26,000 pounds because then I could get pulled over beside it for not towing with a commercial driver's license. So you have to keep these things in mind. So let me show you guys the payload on this truck and we're gonna pretty much wrap this thing up because I didn't have much on this. I just wanted to kind of follow up with it. And as I said earlier, owning the dually truck for me personally was great. Now here's the payload, 5,216 pounds. This truck is pretty loaded. It's a Denali, so it definitely has all the options that you would want. Now something else I didn't mention in my last video and owning the truck, I figured it out really quickly. Maintenance is gonna be more money with dually trucks because you have extra tires. So something I've noticed, and I wanna say this real quickly, is you guys see you see how the outer part of the tires are not wearing, like the centers? That is something that you're gonna see with dually. So when I had my 37 by 12 and a half, so you guys saw something pretty similar to this. And there's really nothing you can do. The reason why that is, is because this truck doesn't have a load on it. Once you add 2,000, 3,000 pounds of load on this truck, the tires are gonna be wearing evenly. When it comes down to this, right, if you're not doing a lot of towing, you're gonna have to rotate these tires often. Now up front, you guys can see, it's not really doing it. You can see that the tire has an even wear patch on the ground, but out back, the inner and outer duals, you don't have that even patch. Now some guys will actually lower the PSI on the inner tire. I think I might've hit the recording button on my camera and stopped it, but what I was saying was sometimes people will lower the PSI in the inner tires to make them wear more evenly. But in most cases, you're gonna have to rotate the tires. And by doing that, 
they're gonna have to remove them from the wheels and basically put them on to the other wheels because the wheels don't match each other. So that's unfortunate for Julie, so it's gonna cost you more money for the rotate. The last thing I wanna mention in this video is this. If you're looking at a wide body luxury fifth wheel like a Jayco, Pinnacle, or North Point, Keystone, Montana, or even a Forest River, Cedar Creek, any of those big wide body luxury fifth wheels, or a triple axle toy hauler from like Alliance or Grand Design, you're gonna need to buy one of these trucks. In other words, if you're looking at a wide body fifth wheel over 16,000 pounds or 15,000 pounds, and that's dry weight. If it starts over 15,000 pounds, you probably need to consider a dually, 100%. Really, the gross fuel weight rating for a single rear wheel one ton, I would say should max out at 14,000 pounds, gross fuel weight rating. So the dry weight should be around 11,000 to 12,000 pounds. So once you start getting into those 16.5 gross fuel weight ratings and really any triple axle toy hauler, this is the truck you're gonna need. So I'm not telling people to not buy a dually and buy a lesser truck for a big trailer. I'm only telling you that well, don't buy a dually if you're not willing to deal with what I just told you in this video. Yes, in some states, you might have to pay more for registration and insurance. Yes, the truck does ride a lot harsher. Yes, this truck is hard to live with day to day, especially when it comes down to parking, because a lot of places where you park at don't have big parking spots, right? So yes, you're going to have to buy a dually for a big trailer, but you could do what I did. I decided I wanted a 2500 again, and I got the AT4X, so I got a travel trailer. I sold my fifth wheel, and I went down to a travel trailer, and I haven't looked back. Don't get me wrong, I do miss my fifth wheel. There's a lot of things about fifth wheels that definitely still win, but we decided not to get a toy hauler. We were gonna get a triple axle toy hauler, and we decided not to do that. So I figured, why have a big truck if we're not gonna have a big trailer? So that's why I always do my videos showing you the payload, that way you have an understanding of these numbers. But yes, the dualies are definitely worth it if you're planning to tow big. And don't listen to some of the guys online. Some guys will try to get a three quarter ton Ram at a 10,000 pound gross fuel equate rating so they can tow more trailer. If you're planning on doing any kind of hot shot, I would just say go all the way, like do it the right way. Get the biggest truck you can, that way you have the best safety. I know a lot of people are trying to prevent themselves from paying more, but that's the beauty of, of growing. If you do things the right way, I feel like good things come to you, but if you're trying to be a cheapskate, well, you're only cheapskating yourself at the end of the day. So, I hope you guys liked the video. I think that the Dually is still a really good option, and right now they're starting to pop up at dealerships. This truck's available. They have a white one that's available. They're both Denali. So reach out to Frank if you would like to purchase this truck. See you guys soon.